bitter at night. Presented live on the internet before an audience that's so amazing. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Jupiter at Night. My name is Chris. My name is Jeremy. And we've got the return of the beef. <laughs> All right, so if you watched last night, you know that this is our Hackintosh that we use for editing and, and soon use for our stream switching and stuff like that. And it like has that. been out of commission for a little while weeks. now. Maybe and, months. And it's, it was sick. It started crashing on us. You know, you'd render video. It have cancer. It could. Or, or really bad gas. Yeah. And uh, so we kind of had a, we had some suspect ideas. You know, nothing really concrete it was as to what it might be. But it seemed like, you know, every now and then we'd bop the case, mm -hmm. plug something in, and, and it would... Reset on it. Basically, it came down to believing that the problem was most likely electrical. Hopefully. In nature. Yeah. We've done like RAM tests mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Basically, any part of this hardware that we could individually test, we've done it. Tried to. Yeah. And, and Trust us. We're geeks. We know this we stuff. We swapped out video cards and stuff, <laughs> though I still have, I'm still kind of uh, a little bit suspicious there, Jamie. Can you point out the video card for those, for the peeps at home? It's only the biggest thing in there other than the It's actually so big that it, it, there's just no way to put it in there where some cables, like the SATA cables, aren't just pushing on wow, it. Wow, my hand is white. Well, that's because the Raw. exposure. <laughs> it's not your hand. It's just the way the camera's balanced to get the computer. Uh so, Dude, back, if we were only this big, we could have fit it in no problem. I know, right? Back in there, the SATA cables are actually pushing on, pushing the card away from the motherboard. Yeah. Kind of a failure, I think, on Gigabyte's part as to where they located those. Kind of a lot. I mean... Because actually, that could still be part of the problem. Because one of the sus suspicions that we had... Is loose video card. Is that it wasn't properly mounted. How sick are you of all of the freaking wires in this thing? Ugh. It's like, by this point, I feel like... I, it doesn't even have to be, like, wireless. Why couldn't it be a light diode on one end and a light diode on the other end, and they go blink, 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 blink? Or why don't they just build new motherboard infrastructure that has power cabling built into it so that you can just plug your cards directly into yeah. it and they get power? Like that video card, we have to plug two additional power plugs into it. I don't even think the they're actually plugged they're in, in yet. They're not in yet, no. We we so uh, before the show started we started reassembling it you know like they do on cooking shows where they they're like and here's how you make the quiche and then they put the quiche in the oven but in the other oven we already have a quiche that's done quiche is good so yeah yeah quiche is good <laughs> my wife made quiche for dinner uh, so this guy right here uh, it was sort of that scenario I already whoa. <laughs> look out <laughs> I already you know remounted it because uh, because we thought it was electrical one of the things that uh, I kind of realized is when we installed this we were kind of doing it just on live on the internet we weren't paying a whole we're lot kind of being attention dumb. <laughs> we put too many mounting yeah. screws into the case yeah we just kind of put them in there and figured we'd set the motherboard down and just screw in wherever there we saw one come through the problem though is that if those mounting they're metal mm -hmm. they're brass captive. maybe or i think they're it's supposed to be i think they're supposed to be like Anyways, you, yeah, you can still still conduct. Yeah. I don't know what, what the exact metal type is, but if you have them where there's not a screw hole in the motherboard, then it's potentially hitting the... You know, it could be touching the bottom of the motherboard. Now, it used to be back in the day you'd use washers or, or insulators on the top mm -hmm. of those to, mm -hmm. to prevent them from carrying charges of any kind. But nowadays, those things are built into the screw holes in most motherboards. Yeah. This one included. I think they might so, have started rolling that out with ATX even, so it's probably been a while, but... Yeah. I... I still but now, if we had an extra mounting bracket in a place where there was no screw hole, that meant that it was just touching yeah. the electronics. Yeah, possibly. with no grounding or no uh, insulation. And that's really suspect. So I, um, you know, we went through and we pulled. We had two different ones in there. I think there were three. Oh, were there? Yeah. Oh, oh there were three, and we moved one. Yeah, that's what it was. And uh, so hope that might help. We'll see. <laughs> Who knows? Receiving the video card and sort of pulling everything. You know, we also had that extra network card we pulled. Yep. Eh, we don't really think it was causing a problem, but. Reduce variables, we Maybe. figured. Yeah. Although I, I do want to just uh, mention to you guys that we're not entirely sure we got the drives plugged in back in the same yeah, or right order. that's true. Because I, I... We labeled them. one side. Yeah, didn't label the other side. <laughs> label and they're in a raid, so that probably matters. Label your cables. Honestly, I'd reset up the raid and reload everything if it would just work. Yeah. And we won't really know. See, we could turn it on and it might work just fine. Although, you know, the funny thing is, the only reliable way that we can get this sucker to crash... Was booted up under Windows yeah. and play a 3D game, Star Trek Online. Star Trek Online, the game of game. choice. Yeah. <laughs> and so it's funny that in order to test the Hackintosh now, now that we've got it rebuilt yeah. after we you know plug in the power and everything, we're gonna go and try to play 
Stow under Windows. Though you know, to see if the Hackintosh lives. I swear, <laughs> it felt like sometimes whenever I was working on something important is also when I could reproduce a crash. Yeah, I know we both have. Do you want to share? A you could story? almost rely on it to crash exactly when you were working on After something. After Effects important. would constantly crash this thing, and because yeah. you know we would do some of our shows of some of our green screening in After Effects. Yeah, like beer is tasty, for example. Yep. Uh, we would lose like. And After Effects takes forever because it. Yeah. It's a very high resolution capture and it's everything. It's chewing that thing up. Yeah. yeah. And, and I. So the total render could, could be like 12 hours and it could crash in hour 11. I would even say, I would be even fine if we could never run it overclocked or anything like that. That's I fine. I just yeah. want my baby back, Jeremy. <laughs> uh, so maybe let's just talk about really briefly before we wrap up tonight um, why we did a Hackintosh. And I know some of you in the comments were like, why don't you guys get a PC? Why don't you guys use Linux? Things like that. Why don't you just buy a Mac? Even well, we would if the budget would allow. Right, but the software. And I think we kind of covered that last the night. The software that we use requires it, so we, we're sticking with it. And I don't. I and we're just we're gonna kind of just table it at that point. I know that if you want to take that conversation uh, offline, we can over at JupiterColony.com. Mm -hmm. And if you want to fire up a thread in there in the Jupiter at Night section, uh, I've got a lot of technical reasons. I'd I'd be more than happy to go into if people are interested. But also, I'd, we'll I'd, save it. You know, this isn't just something that we did on a whim. We say that we were trying to save money on this, but Chris, you spent several thousands worth of your own dollars trying to find yeah. alternatives to this, including buying other codecs that were yeah. very expensive to license. Yeah. Uh, Cineform comes to mind yep. that we tried to use under Windows. Mm -hmm. I mean, w so we have looked into alternatives, and this still is... A lot of the good open source codecs, but there's just little different limitations here and there. Mm -hmm. And, you know, really what's kind of nice is it also does make a great... Uh, uh, Linux box and Windows box. Yeah, if it was running well. There's really no reason we couldn't try boot it, and I'm sure we would. And then, and and there's so much more we could do if it's running. So there's a lot of there's a lot of power we can get Having out of it. Having this system there. out of commission was a major blow to to Jupiter Broadcasting on a whole. So we're so, gonna we're gonna wrap up some of the final build. You know, like plug the power into the mother uh, into the video card. Mm -hmm. um, there's a couple other like we gotta plug all the little damn switches, and I hate those things. Again, replace them already. Well, or you know what? They just should start bundling them into a single plug that you just plug it in, and it's got everything in there. Totally. And uh, so after we get all that done, tomorrow will be the uh, power on, see if it works. And it's going to be our Thursday night episode of Jupiter at Night, and it's usually our looking forward to the weekend episode. Mm -hmm. So we've got something that's kind of fun. A new major, major release came out, and we're going to be talking about that mm -hmm. next episode. We'll probably do a little Halloweeny stuff as well mm -hmm. if we can fit it in there. Oh, I got a few horror stories I want to share. Yeah, yeah. All right, everyone. Well, thanks so much for watching tonight's episode of Jupiter Night. Hopefully, we'll see you tomorrow night with a booting Hackintosh. In fact, I, I'm. Could it replace that by tomorrow? Could we be running on no, it tomorrow? Come on, that's crazy. Well, it's crazy. Maybe in time for Stoked though. Huh? Because there's no show Friday night. That's right. So we could take it down Friday night and break everything and destroy the world. <laughs> destroy the yeah. world. So many tunes in Friday night, they might see like the like the s snow static on the screen. <laughs> us fading in and out. You know, <laughs> can anybody hear us? <laughs> Receiving signals from the past. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So anyways, that could be fun. You never know. That'd probably be Friday night. That's a whole new episode. Tune in every week. All right, everyone. Well, thanks so much for watching tonight's episode of Jupiter at Night, and we'll see you tomorrow night.